Welcome back there students. Just a real quick video on how to use uh, gizmos and explore learning. I know you've used these before, but this will uh, alleviate some of our problems. And if you've never used one before, then good for you. You're about to get a crash course. Huzzah. So here we are on the gizmo. Now this is the link that comes straight from the worksheet. From Google Classroom or straight from the assignment. Now right here you'll notice it may or may not say five minute preview use for five minutes a day. Remember you've already added yourself to the class, you've already logged in to Gizmo before. So all you have to do to actually be able to use the Gizmo to its fullest is just right up here at the top where it says log in and enroll and then you just enter in your username and password that you already made. You hit log in and then it should take you straight to your class and you'll see right there element builder if you're starting on google classroom and you didn't use the link or couldn't find the link in the worksheet or you ever need a gizmo for any reason right here on the ble you scroll down under basic links where it said enroll in the gizmo class here's a class code you've already enrolled so you don't need to do that again you just click this link right here it'll take you straight to this page on gizmos and again you'll just click login right there after you put in your username and password and once it loads, you will see right here the classes you are in. Should it be at least applied science first period. If you don't have a class, then you just click enroll in a class and you'll use the class code from this Google Doc back here under the basic links of the BLE. No need to do that now because we're already in the class. We're just going to launch this gizmo and at this point I'm going to start with the instructions on how to use this gizmo uh, to help with our uh, to do the worksheet. But basically, you've got protons, neutrons, electrons. They have a nice Bohr model here for you. To add a proton, you just hit the, the arrow. See, now I've added two protons are in there. It starts with one proton. Here I've added two, three, four, five protons. So now we've got an element with an atomic number of five. And then if I want to add some neutrons, I just click this button right here that says uh, add neutrons. And I've got one, two, three, four, five. Let's say I go with six, six neutrons. That sounds fun. So this element now is an atomic number of five and it has an atomic mass of 11. Remember, because you add these two together, you'll notice up here it says ionized. We want to go ahead and just make this thing nice and neutral, but the same number of electrons as we have protons. So five and five, you'll notice that ionized went away. If I add one more, now we're ionized again. To help you double check your work, you've got some things over here. So for example, show element name. This is boron, has an atomic number of five and a mass of 11. We know that this is our normal one because it says right here, this isotope makes up 80.2% of the element. We'll talk more about what the crap an isotope is later. If you would like to see the symbol, you'll notice you have the, the symbol B for boron. If you hit element notation, you'll notice that it has exactly the same notation we talked about with the mass on the top left, atomic number in the lower left. And if it were to have a charge, like right now we've added a sixth electron, so now it's a charge of negative one. You can even use this gizmo right here to see electron dot diagrams, which uh, just show the electron dots, so like a Lewis dot structure. And you can also use it to help you find it on the periodic table a little bit more quickly. After you get going, you don't have to click back to put it back to how it was. I mean, you could do that, but let's say you have some stuff in there. I don't know. You went crazy on the number of neutrons. Oh boy. And you just, I don't know, you went, you went, you went hard on the electrons too. Look at this thing. It's a crazy element. This element uh, does not exist in real life. See, it says right here, not valid. This thing all messed up and it's looking crazy. All you gotta do, just hit this reset button down there and then it'll put it back to normal. That's all you gotta do. So happy gizmoing. That was drooping. I had to fix it.